early 90s we've been coming by this hotel and it's been a eyesore they're now redoing it it's opened in 1929 and they're redoing it now they're putting like 65 million dollars into this thing to redo it in Mineral Wells Texas so we're gonna go learn about it so here's the front and over here is where the pool was it was the first outdoor pool of its kind and it was the largest in the southwest and uh people would come all over for the mineral waters to the baker hotel i sing songs about texas hallway by the front that overlooks the city Arches up front as well. A little interesting history. Pause and read it if you'd like. I thought that was interesting. So this guy is who is who founded Mineral Wells, and this is why people started coming from all over to Mineral Wells for the water. Sign of the time. Supposedly this was the welcome sign, and supposedly this is where the Hollywood sign. So this is interesting, the Goodnight Loving Trail, which were uh, Charles Goodnight and I forgot the Oliver Loving. They uh, were two big cattlemen, and I didn't realize they started out in Palo Pinto County raising cattle, which is where Mineral Wells are. Coming to Mineral Wells on the east side of uh, coming through 180, there's this area where they have these two helicopters. So this was up until 1973 uh, where they trained uh, helicopter pilots. So they got the crazy uh, water celebration each second, the second Friday and Saturday in October. But um, the water actually has some lithium um, that is in it, which helps people with their, their craziness, which is actually used for bipolar as well too. That was interesting. So here it talks more about the mineral water and stuff. Um, but uh, people would come from all around, but they had to stop saying that it helped with certain. Um, medical conditions uh, because of the FDA but there is a place called the um, famous mineral water company um, which is right around the block that you can still get the water mineral water on tap so there is the crazy water hotel that is just a few blocks uh, that way you can't see it but anyway but um, that was actually burned onto the ground and they rebuilt it a million dollars back in 1925 um, or 1927, I should say. But look who stayed here when not participating in crime. Machine Gun Kelly and Bonnie and Clyde rested here under uh, assumed names. Interesting. They're redoing that uh, Crazy Water Hotel. On the east side of Mineral Wells, when you're coming in, there is the National Vietnam War Museum. Um, I didn't realize that that many people sacrificed their lives on, uh, in Vietnam which is something to think about since we're right after July 4th. All these businesses came in for the crazy water. Look at some of those old buildings and stuff. Businesses. Drink star water. It's a bathhouse right there. Got this crazy guy looking like he's drinking moonshine, but just crazy water. And got the crazy well. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff out here in Mineral Wells. Look, they got a fossil park that was found after the city dump borrow pit uh, eroded. That's interesting. Mission is free, open daily from dawn to dusk. All the way up at the very, very top. It's over 14 stories tall. Clark Gardens. I didn't realize it was as big as it is. 50 acres worth. It's pretty interesting. Of course, they have the picture covered up. So one of the things besides the mineral baths and stuff like that is they would give donkey rides up the up the hills and, and mountains. I don't know if they're mountains around here. But they bring this place back. They'll have like horseback rides and stuff like that around here for sure. Here's the future. The baker. So redo everything. There's from above. So that's where I started. We were right about there when we started. We looked over here to the pool area, which they're going to redo. If you come over here, you can see all the different cabanas and stuff that they're going to have at the pool to redo it. Rooms are going to be nice and 
luxurious with the entrance to the hotel. So it'll be pretty this cool. Is the back side. Look at this. So this is the back side of the hotel right here. This was a drive up area. So look, it goes down. I'm standing up on street level. Oh, and you can't see, but it goes down underneath the highway or down the road underneath there. So they had like a drive in like valet area up here. It's kind of cool. Here, let's suit back so you can see. Okay, so we got a little cut out in the rock. So there's the entrance to where we were. There's the pool over there. And then that driveway comes down here and then goes underneath the building over to where I was before. I mean, they got a lot of work to do on this thing. We got a little another outcropping of the rock right here. Look, so if you go down this, here you can see where it goes underneath the building there. All through here, I have no idea where that goes underground storage. But there's the first Olympic sized pool that was ever outdoor. They got a big old fountain over there, which is the crazy water fountain. And a little staircase going across there. So we'll see how this thing turns out. Looking at the back side, so this must have been a, a little cabana area previously. They'll have the little cabanas out here. And then, of course, the pool is down over there. And there's the hotel up there.